Hideo Kojima game. Oh my god, the epicness. Yes, we know the story is fictional. The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. Yeah, you were too far uh, Shadow Moses Island. You were at Shadow Moses Island for too long. That's what it was. Oh my gosh. This brings back so many memories. I played this on the PS2 when it originally came out. God, that's been so long. Uh... This is Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this game to come out, and uh, now it's finally here. Uh, this is from the HD version as well. So, all the graphics are going to be updated and all that good goodness. Good old solid snake. As voiced by David Hayter. That's H A Y T E R. So a lot of people really didn't like this game back when it first came out because you didn't really get to play a snake a whole lot. There was another character in another set of missions. Uh, his name is Raiden. And uh, a lot of people thought that was Raiden from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I, I was one of those ones that thought it was Raiden. But no, his name is Raiden. Uh, he's voiced by Quentin Flynn. Uh, a lot of people didn't like him as a, a character added to Metal Gear Solid, but I really didn't mind Raiden as a character. I, I actually liked Raiden's story arc in this game. It fits well with the whole uh, storyline. So... And it's been a while since I played this game. Our boy, he's right on schedule. Yes, he is. 
Oh, the classic. He'll know soon enough. He's a really good character. Uh, if you haven't played any of the other Metal Gear Solid games, that is Revolver Ocelot. He is another one of my favorite characters. I like his story arc too. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. So you do actually get to play a snake, obviously, in this beginning part. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? But loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting. Now. Like I was saying I'm before, a lot of people didn't really like uh, okay? stealth camos. This game Landing as a whole bags. because of the whole ride-in art. But Sorry, I really like it. Have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better <laughs> off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical yeah, so the, the old uh, black market after Shadow Moses. All Ocelot's doing. Metal exactly. Gear Solid. And now every the first state, one, Metal Gear Solid com on the PS1. Metal Gear. Not exactly Naomi classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe gave the him floor with a all the other models. The only shot consistent description is that it's an amphibious anti-metal gear vehicle. For that explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Uh Fox die, or, the or whatever it was. To make I don't know. I'd have to go through and play it all again. But uh, by that tanker and bring back I have evidence. the game. I'm going to play it on the, the channel. Of the so infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to we'll find out all where the out. tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. The capabilities, deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. Yep, An anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have so to reload after yep. each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor. Too. One of the things about the this game too is with hours. Metal Gear. You can take down an elephant with It that was Check out the, the laser first one to go into first person view where you can shoot what part like this. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Nope, I have not. Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Yeah, uh, this is the Metal Gear that I remember the most of. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure right, this because technically you're not supposed to be here. It out of the Pentagon's classified But files we are on myself. a sneaking no mission. Traces. Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. Even in this rain? The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. 
The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? Look, we got other people taking over the ship. We'll meet them soon enough. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. AKS 74U. Carrying 556ers and pineapples. Nope, not this game. Russians? Yep, the, it's the You're Russians. Sure? No Marine Barber touched that head of hair. Transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer whale. Yep. AA-60 Kasatka. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency is 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. See you later, Otacon. Okay, so now... We actually have control of Snake, our character. So, what I was saying before is, uh, this was the first Metal Gear Solid to have first person view. Uh, the weapon button is still the same. But, see, we got a little uh, laser pointer on our gun. It's got a silencer on it, so it's not going to make any noise. Uh, hitting an enemy in the head, that uh, knocks them out. We need to be stealthy. Oh! He can't see us. Oh, where'd he go? He left. Yeah, and then if you do this, if you hold somebody up and then point at their head, they drop dog tags. And then we knock them out. Nicholas M. Capone. Crashing, those are always good. Yeah, I've missed this game. I've missed playing this ever since uh, it first came out on PS2. 
uh, I don't have a PS2 anymore, so I can't really play the game like I would have wanted to until now on the Master Collection volume, which Konami just released. So I am so glad for that because, like I said, I've been missing playing this game. I'm not gonna kill you. I can't kill you. Anyway. Uh, collecting dog tags, that is uh, really good. Okay, let's see what the codec call is. Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. Yep. Um, so yeah, this game also released on Steam and PS5, um, which I'm playing it on Steam, but it also came out on uh, Nintendo Switch as well, but I decided not to get it on Switch because it only uh, runs at 30 frames per second, whereas uh, Steam and PS5, it runs at 60 frames a second which is still really good but uh yeah so now we're entering deck b crew quarters starboard this is the starboard side of the ship nothing up there yep there's a guy there Sorry, hinting at that. Um, I thought there was something back this way. Maybe. Um, if I remember right, you gotta... Okay. Yep. You gotta get the USB first. Uh... Rations. Those are always good. Get your rations. Freeze. <gasps> Are you going to shoot me? Uh, if you don't give up your dog tag, give me your dog tag, sir. Okay. Well, you're lost. I believe this just takes me to the other side of the ship. Deck C. Snake, there's a surveillance camera in place. Once you're in its field of view, an alarm will go off. You can't afford to be seen. You can also use the chaff grenade to set up some electronic interference. The camera will be ineffective for a while. There's a blind spot right beneath the camera. Use it to buy some time. Yep. Okay, so all we gotta do is hug this wall. The camera stays in one spot. So, I mean, as long as you're not like going directly inside its field of view, which is the cone shape. Um, you're good to go. As long as you don't pass right through it, you know, that's kind of a, obvious, obviously a no-no. Chaff grenade. Yeah, so, I mean, we've only got two. And Adikon just explained chaff grenades, so, yeah. I'm not going to do it because there's another camera that needs to be um, cleared with a chaff grenade. So 
That's kind of an obvious one. I believe right here we have another uh, ration. Yep. Rations uh, refill health. If you didn't already know that. Then I'm going to go back up this way. Deck D crew quarters. Yeah, see right there. That's where we might need a chaff grenade. I'm not sure yet. Um, go through this door. More rations. Uh, under these tables. That's USP bullets. I think the other one is USB bolts as well. Oh, yep, see, that's what I mean. Oh, yep, I've been caught, I've been spotted. Chaff grenade. Usually, uh, enemies. Oh, we got more people coming. Uh, normally, enemies will drop other stuff. you pick them up but I think since we're playing on normal mode it's not gonna do that Okay, so here's another thing too. This right here, this is bad. This is, if you touch that, you're gonna die. But, Snake, wait, don't move. Not moving. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic Plus explosives. Yep. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. So now we can see that, you know, infrared beams are right there. Sounds like snake caught a cold. Oh. 
All we gotta do is crawl underneath them. That's easy. Uh, but there was other stuff I wanted to get down here. Oh. There's other stuff, other places I wanted to get. How is he still sleeping? <coughs> oh, let's just stand. Oh. oh, I gotta go to the other side. rations down this way I think yep, there's a guy right there <coughs> I don't want to hold him up because oh. That's what I wanted, and there's a ration down here. Yo, why does why does that look like marshmallow? You didn't respond. I've got everything else that I needed to do. Yeah, deck D is where we need to be. Obviously, since that rhymes. Oh, wait, I forgot about all this. There's gonna be another guy that jumps through here. Yep. I knew it. Like I said, it's been so long since I've played this game, I forgot every little detail about it. But it was one of my favorite Metal Gear games.
nine bullets. Okay, so we can't go this way because there's a trap. Unless. we do that Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the hold and locate the actual metal... <laughs> That does it for this episode. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. I don't remember all the little details about it. Um, maybe you guys can help me out if you guys remember anything. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment, uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. Um, I'm trying to get back into, uh, doing more videos and stuff like that. So it's been a long time, I know, but, um, I've been kind of down and out since my mom passed away and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things so yeah give me a like give me a subscribe uh, it's gonna help my channel out uh, I'm trying to get back into making videos and stuff like that so Yeah, I'd like to hear back from you all.
Goodbye.